experienced the worst landslide ever recorded in this oh. region. And due to the remote areas affected, authorities are having trouble estimating the exact number of casualties as rescue crews continue to search for the missing. That's our news. Jason, honey, wake up. Mm. Jason, wake up. What? For a second, I need to talk what? to you. Wake up. What, what is it? What? Listen, if anything ever happens to me... What ha uh, happened to you? Uh, I mean, you know, like a kidnapping or a terrorist attack or tsunami. Oh, jeez. You know, I, mean, I wish you wouldn't watch the news before bed. I know. I know. Nothing is going to happen to you. Don't huh? say that. It might. Something might happen. And if it does, you know what picture to use, right? <laughs> Picture? What, I... for, for the news, Jason, if I'm missing or something, what picture are you going to use? We oh, need to talk about Jeez it. Louise, I'm going to sleep. No, okay. honey, a bad picture can make a tragic situation even worse. I've seen it time and time again. <laughs> Nothing is going to happen to you. But it Good might, night, Marion. It might, Jason. Good night. And finally, some good news. A missing Highland Park woman has returned to her family safe and sound tonight. Marion Oberly spent three days adrift on Lake Michigan after some bad weather had capsized her kayak. Authorities say that Mrs. Oberly was sunburned and hungry, but otherwise in good condition. Better condition than when that photo was taken. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's our news. <laughs> So sorry. I was so worried. Uh, the police were here and they were asking for your most recent photo, and I had just taken that one to finish off the roll, remember? If I had died out there, people would have said, oh well, she's ugly anyway. <laughs> Beautiful to me. And I I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Listen, listen, tomorrow we'll, we'll take out the photo album and we'll, we'll, we'll pick one for next time. You know what? Odds are there's not going to be a next time. You blew it, Jason. You blew it. <laughs> and finally, a happy ending to a story we've been following all week. The last of the Taco Cabana hostages was released today. Marion Oberly, pictured here, simply walked out of the fast food restaurant as her captor, who was demanding the legalization of marijuana, got high and fell asleep. Jason, why would you use an old glamour shot? I got taken to the mall. That looks nothing like me. If I had known you were going to use that picture, I would have asked my kidnapper to shoot me. Don't say that. Hey, listen, who cares about the photo? Right. What matters is that you're all safe and sound. Oh, so the photo doesn't matter, huh? No. No, it doesn't. Boy, oh boy. I sure hope that mountain climbing expedition you and your buddies are going on this weekend goes off without a hitch. <laughs> <laughs> The three men were airlifted to safety and later identified as Paul Grandi, Scott McMillan, and Jason Oberman. <laughs> During the flight, Jason was in and out of consciousness and kept muttering, use the photo from my brother's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the picture doesn't matter. What matters is that you're safe and sound. <laughs> Jason's loving wife, Marion, met him at the hospital. And Jason was kind enough to supply us with her photo. <laughs> that reminds me of a joke. Yeah. Knockers, knockers. Who's there? Marion Oberly. Yes. <laughs> That's our news.